Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and ohio everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Riot here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Battle Chronicle. And this is the first video that we are recording from my new house and my new room for Don Machi Battle Chronicle. As you can see, the lighting is a little bit different. I've had to set it up all so that at least it looks somewhat decent. I'm still gonna have to work on it. So if you guys have any suggestions or any advice on the audio levels or how the lighting looks, let me know in the comment section down below. I do have only one lamp. I am thinking of adding another lamp on my left hand side so that it looks a little bit better and a little bit more even because right now the light is only coming on one half of my face. But of course, any advice from you guys will be great in the comment section down below. Now, today we're going to be making a video you guys have been asking for for quite some time now. And that, of course, is the video on how you can beat the Inferno Bird. Today, we are going to be taking on this Flaming Chicken and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can knock it down very easily. Now, of course, if you guys go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Don Machi and Don Machi Battle Chronicle content. And let me know in the comment section down below if you have beat this in for no bird what team did you guys use i'm very curious to see what you guys have to say down below and i think you guys can beat this inferno bird very very easily now for this video i am taking it on in hard difficulty because i do have a team that is 33,000 in combat power so doing it on normal it'll be too easy you guys will not really learn that much on hard however taking it on at 29,920 power i think we can do something here with this team of course and of course make it appear to be somewhat of a challenge to us of course right now another thing to note is that if you look in the top right the recommended attribute is of course blue and that is the color that i actually don't have much off to be quite honest if you take a look at our uh home screen right now and we go into upgrade let's go into upgrade um the only blue characters that i have right now are both tione and tiona that are of the ssr rarity now of course tione is probably the only one i would say that is somewhat usable in this situation right being a blue speed unit she will have some abilities in you know being able to deal some form of damage against the enemy that being said though I, I mean I'd still probably run something else entirely maybe the only thing I would recommend not using is probably green Ryu because you're type disadvantage anyways and while the ultimates will help and of course we'll talk about ultimates once we get into the fight it really doesn't make much sense using Ryu if you don't need to. Um, in terms of other blue options, there aren't that many. Realistically, you only have Tiona as the other blue DPS option and then Cassandra as the blue support option, right? So realistically, it, if you're going blue, Tiona and Tiona are your only options. For this video, however, we will not be using either of them. I will be using my main team, which is of course consisting of Lafia, Haruhime, and Aisha. We will be taking those three into this fight. I really wanted to try and do it on very hard, but the power level is too different. I'm at only 33,000, 32,000, and this is a 45,000 recommended power stage. There's no way we're going to be taking this on. No shot. Absolutely zero chance we're going to be taking that on. Now, you guys might be wondering, Gil, you don't have the stamina. How are you going to do this? Well, I have a lot of stamina already in the small potato popper section, but today they did give out nine potato poppers medium, which is really, really nice. That is, if I'm not mistaken, 450 stamina. It is absolutely brilliant. But for today's video, we're going to be using only one. <laughs> I'm not going to be using more than uh, one because I don't need to. I'm saving up the rest to farm the rest of the event. I only have a couple of Falna left to pick up. I picked up the second Rainbow Falna. It's just that I need to pick up some of the Electric and Fire Falnas. And that's it. We're done with the event shop as well, which is amazing to see. Honestly, it's so, so cool to see. Anyways, that's besides the point. Let's get the rec uh, stamina recovery in and let's get into the stage itself and let's start knocking out this goddamn flaming chicken. So this is the team we're going to be taking. I am 33,000 on the dot. Damn. So that is my recommended power. I am 3,000 power higher than the recommended power. Um, to be quite honest, as long as you're just above the recommended power and you have two really strong DPS units, I don't think it should be a problem whatsoever for any player. So anyways, let's get into the fight and let's see how we fare against this flaming chicken um but yeah this this bird is a little bit annoying i will admit as well um because i did clear it on hard on on a live stream i did clear it on hard uh, on hard on a live stream uh, and it wasn't too bad then i didn't notice a lot of the problems that it could cause to players for sure right it is a little bit of an annoying little uh, beast to be quite honest with the amount of times it goes into its uh sort of like uh shield mode it can be a little bit frustrating and not to mention the uh fire 
uh, particles and launches. So you have to kind of micromanage the uh, uh, units a little bit so that you don't get hit by the fire explosions and all the fire molecules that are in and around. I would highly recommend uh, trying to um, basically use uh, your alts whenever it brings up its shield rather than do anything else to be quite honest. Just focus on breaking its shield down with your alts and assists uh, abilities. All right, we got hit there. That's fine. It's probably gonna use its fire burst again there. That's not really a problem for us. All right, it's gonna do that again as well. And yeah, you gotta have to, you kind of have to be just a little bit cautious with uh, what you're doing basically uh, in this situation. All right, we have to be very cautious there. Yeah, you kind of get cornered a little bit sometimes. I would say that if you can, just try and get your range away. Just try and stay as far as you can from the bird because yeah this is a little bit of a problem uh, that i noticed when i did my first run as well it's just that it is very annoying in where how much it attacks all the uh, all the surrounding areas honestly it just becomes a bit more un uh, annoying because it just destroys your environment it destroys all your moving space which is the biggest problem it's really the biggest problem is just how much of an annoyance it makes to you as a player in terms of you know being able to actually get the opportunity to you know attack normally uh oh i was a little bit scared there i'm not gonna lie i, I was a little bit scared there. i'm gonna heal up here so that uh we can get everybody the alt uh oh all right we took a little bit of damage there okay i need to run i i needed to run i needed to run uh let's do this we will use aisha's alt i think aisha can launch from here okay that's good I was a little bit concerned that we would be uh, missing it, but no, we're fine. All right, I need Chigusa to attack here. Give me some damage there. Beautiful. Also, another thing that really helps if you do have any uh, assist that can, Asfi is a good example of being a decent assist for that option as well, is that you should try and run an assist that can deal damage because anything that can deal damage means you can break the shield a little easier because a lot of people have to just wait for the alt to destroy the shield. Whereas with an assist, you can kind of remove that factor a little bit, thankfully, which really helps a lot, to be honest. It really does. Okay, we did take a little bit of damage there. And we can just drop this on his head top now. There we go. And now we have about two and a half minutes. I can probably... I could have probably defeated uh, the bird without having to, uh, you know run the risk of getting hit or use uh, Lily's assist to deal more damage or something. But I'd like to make sure that the, uh, you know, okay, I, I was hoping that I could aim from there, but it didn't really pan out the way I thought it would. Um, I could have probably used uh, the assist to be able to try and get a little bit more damage off, basically. But like, yeah, no, it, it's fine. All right, it's not moving now. Are you going to move? Okay, it moves. It, it lives, it lives. All right, let's do this. There we go. Break the shield. And now let, let's do that. Let's try and use the alt here and you can see what I mean. Like I could have probably beaten it a little bit faster in this run. But I feel like you want to try and make sure that the shield is broken. And that's the most important part. For, for some reason, this bird hasn't done one of his maneuvers. So he healed up there. That's fine. I kind of was expecting a, something of a healing nature because he does heal there. Okay, that is my bad. I didn't. I made a mistake there big time. I think we can still beat it, but like, I, it, it makes my life a lot more annoying now. All right, let me just do this. All right, buddy, you're not, you're not doing this. <laughs> you're, you're not doing this. All right, let's see how much this does. Come on. There we go. And is it gonna attack from here? All right, there we go. I was kind of hoping I could get a hit off there. I can't. There we go. We got him. Just as uh, just as he dropped his shield, I got him there. That was very close. I'm not going to lie. That was a lot closer than I was expecting. But the main point I was trying to make there is, of course, you want to try and dodge those uh, sort of like area uh, effects effectively. The field effects that they placed on the field. The fire uh, ticks and everything. It's really annoying. It's kind of similar, actually. Honestly, this, this, this stage is similar to the infant dragon stage. And I think that's what a lot of people struggle with, right? A lot of people struggled with the infant dragon because of the number of attacks that were happening. You know, multiple enemies, orc lord attacking, infant dragon, deal, you know, making a lot of fire effects on the field and everything. It becomes really frustrating and that's the same situation here. Thankfully, there's only one enemy in the infant, uh, infant dragon. I mean, the inferno bird stage. But still, it's just a little bit annoying purely because of how just 
challenging it is to maneuver everything now one thing i want to try and show you guys is something that they didn't do in this fight for some reason the bird didn't use this move at all whereas when i did it on hard the first time round it kept spamming the specific maneuver and this specific shield if i'm not mistaken um uh, unless i'm mistaken let me just check again because i feel like there's also something else it does but i can't i might be mistaken i think i'm probably mistaken let me just check because i feel like there was one more thing that this bird did that we didn't get a chance to see but i might be uh mixing it up with another enemy most likely i'm probably mixing it up with another enemy uh, oh, 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 let me move over here. That was close. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that was very, very close. I was, ma I was uh, playing it, playing with fire there, as they say. <laughs> Quite literally, I was playing with fire. Uh oh. All right, there we go. Drop this on his head top. I don't think I was actually. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I'm being, uh, maybe I'm misremembering. Yeah, I think I'm confusing it with another enemy. But yeah, basically, what I would do is take the hit there. He does recover HP, by the way, as well on that attack. I didn't even realize he did. I thought it was only on one of the last phases that if he didn't break the shield, he'd recover HP. But it does seem like he is in this situation. Also, having a sh uh, range unit obviously helps as well. But that is something I can't expect everybody to have, right? Not everybody is going to have uh, Lithi, unfortunately. All right, let's be careful here. And drop the ult. We just drop the ult. Get that damage off as well. Beautiful there. One thing you can do, like I said, is you can just use Aisha and uh, Lily to basically make it a much faster run this is this is how you make it a faster run basically it's just by using uh lafia and stuff another thing you can do as well in order to make sure you can get some recovery in faster as well is use Horihime. use Horihime to take advantage of the uh, uh uh alt as well another thing actually in fact i wouldn't even recommend using Horihime. Horihime is uh oh i'm literally stuck in a triangle here this is not good see this is this is where it would be a problem basically but what I was trying to say is, if you really want a unit that can increase your alt speed, take the uh, speed Tione. The speed Tione will actually help you out massively there. Okay, that was my bad. All right, I need to switch into Har uh, uh, Aisha because I, I'm I nearly made a mistake there. All right, I, I can't deal with this. I need to run. Let him deal whatever he must. Okay, he heals up there. So that, that one heals up basically. So yeah, we need to be a bit cautious on that one. But uh, Speed Tione will be a great option for you because of uh, how fast you can generate alts with her. I'll go into more detail as to why that works and how it works basically um, in a separate video. I will be going over basically uh, all the roles in the game. DPS, tank, shield, uh, sorry, DPS, tank, uh, supporter and speed units. We're going to go over all of those. But yeah, I don't think there's any other maneuver. I think I was misremembering primarily to be quite honest I was trying to uh, trying to instigate it by being closer to him but I think I was just I just made a mistake in terms of like uh uh thinking of another enemy that did a specific type of maneuver so we're gonna stop right there for now let me know if you guys have any questions in regards to this bird as you can tell it is a bit challenging I did lose Lafia both times admittingly the second time was more so because I was trying to do something there to make him do a different maneuver but it doesn't seem like there's anything there um but yeah you do get a little bit of invulnerability by the way if you do run over the fire but i would highly recommend don't stay there for too long stay away from it take this opportunity to come back a little bit and then charge in forward and attack be cautious on that front because the fire can deal a lot of damage to you if you don't pay attention like i think in the infant dragon stage i was getting a tick damage of like 600 700 damage per second or per two seconds so you want to try and just get away from there so that you stop taking that tick damage because obviously enemy damage plus field damage equals death for a lot of people so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it of course if you guys did do enjoy this video smash the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one until then take it easy everybody Bye bye